We are two weeks and a day away from another election day, actually one of two scheduled for next month. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Seth Kovar in for Katia and Pat. Local election leaders are concerned about possible voter apathy and voter fatigue with two election days coming up within 17 days of each other. I spoke to them today and a voter to hopefully clear up any confusion. It's important to vote if you want to see any kind of change. And it's potential law changes that all Texas voters can weigh in on starting next week. Early voting begins Monday on two proposed amendments to the state constitution. They both have to do with property taxes, and that has Corpus Christi voter Alicia Thompson promising to hit the ballot box. The property taxes are extreme because some people can't make it on time every time, especially the elderly and they're on a fixed income. There are other items on the May 7th ballot for some folks. Voters in Port Aransas will select a mayor and three city council members. London ISD SD voters will consider taking a property tax hike to fund a school bond. The Oasis County Courthouse may be the main early voting location, but there are 12 polls scattered throughout the county. Election leaders are trying to make voting as easy as possible, with turnout probably going to be pretty low. Another reason voters may stay home, they're due to hit the polls again May 24th. That's when runoffs are scheduled for the November primaries. Still, Nueces County Clerk Kara Sands, the county's chief elections officer, hopes she'll cast your ballot both times. I think you should always exercise your right to vote and hit the ballot box. It's important. But Thompson says two election days, a week and three days apart, might cause some folks not to vote in either. That could possibly happen because it's happening too fast. You know, there's too much going on and in society, period, especially like politically. Well, for more information on both election days in May, including sample ballots and polling locations and hours, go to our website. That's ChrisTV.com.